Hi, this is Yvette from Evermedia. In this video, I will show you the different ways to capture images using Everplus. When you launch the Everplus software, you can find the Everplus capture icon in the toolbar. When you click on it, you see there are three different ways to capture an image using the Everplus capture. You can capture the whole screen, just the page, or a selected area on the screen. Before you start to make image captures, you can choose to show the captured image on a new Everplus page by checking this box here, or save it to your PC's hard drive. If you choose to save the captured image to your PC, you want to set the location where you would like to save this image, and also name the file. If you don't check either of these boxes, the captured image will appear on the page which you are working on. Now let's try and make some Everplus capture examples. Here I have a live image of fish from the visualizer on my Everplus page. I've also made some notes over it. Now I want to save this image for future references, so I choose to make an Everplus capture. To make a screen capture, I click on this icon, and here you see the screen image that I've just captured. But I don't want the image to show the toolbars, so I first discard this image by dragging it to the trash can and then make another capture using the page capture. And this time, I want to save it to a new page. You see that page capture only captures whatever there is on the Everplus page area, and at the same time, it's being saved to a new page. In addition, I want to make a capture of just a fraction of this image, so I click on Region Capture. Then I select the area that I want to capture. Done. To save these images that I've just captured, I can either save it as an Everplus file, or export this page as an image file, PDF, or HTML file. To learn more about exporting Everplus pages, please watch the video on Save and Reuse. Another way to capture image in Everplus is to use the Evervision Capture. First, you need to have your Evervision Visualizer connected to your PC. Then you click on this Evervision icon in the toolbar, and you'll see a list of functions associated with the Visualizer in the Options panel. The difference between an Everplus Capture and Evervision Capture is that Evervision Capture only captures the image from the visualizer. Here you have Single Normal Capture and High Quality Capture. Let's make a Single Normal Capture first. You can see the resolution is very good with the Normal Capture. Now try with the High Quality Capture and you get a 5 megapixel picture because I'm using a CP355 visualizer. With Evervision Capture, you can also capture more than one image in a set interval of time. First, you want to set this interval by clicking on this icon. You can set the capturing time from 1 minute up to 72 hours and set the interval to capture an image every 5 seconds to every 6 hours. Since you are doing a continuous capture, you may want to save the images to your PC and give the image a name. Once the interval is set, you can click on the continuous capture icon. Notice that at the top left-hand corner, Everplus is keeping track of the number of images that are being captured. 
At any time, you can stop the continuous capture by clicking on the continuous capture icon again. After a few minutes, I have captured images of the fish in action. So this is how you can use the EverPlus Capture and EverVision Capture functions in EverPlus.